you can use your phone as a second camera on your live streams for free. In this video, you will learn how. Your next act, Mr. Marcus Seppala. On my channel, I share a lot of advice on how to get better at Zoom video conferencing and often that comes in the form of a live stream. And to make that live stream, I'm using the system, I'm using my setup, so it would be nice to actually show the setup as well with the second camera. But the only other camera that I have available is my phone, so that's what we're going to be using as a second camera on the live stream. Adding a second camera is actually a great way to improve your live stream. It increases the production quality, it adds a little bit of variety, and using a live camera is actually a lot more attractive than using slides. But how exactly are we going to use our phone as a second webcam? Well, I've been testing this new live streaming service called Melon and I've actually used it for my last couple of live streams. It's a system that runs inside of a web browser, which means that you don't have to install any software at all, and you can use it to stream to multiple platforms at the same time, like YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch. If you want to check out Melon, have a look at the links in the description below. You can actually get started for free. Because Melon runs in a web browser, that actually includes mobile web browsers and that is exactly what we're going to be using to bring our phone onto our live stream. And that means that I don't have to install any special app on my phone at all. Let's jump into the Melon Live Studio and I'm going to show you how to do it. Here we are inside of the Melon Live Studio running in Chrome. As you can see, there's nothing on the stream at the moment. There's only my custom green background plus my logo in the top right corner. The only video source available right now is my webcam. And if I want to add that webcam, all I have to do is click show on stream here on the left hand side. And now it's been added to the stream. But how do I actually add my B camera to the stream? Well, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my phone and, and I'm going to go to the Melon site on my phone instead. And as soon as I log in, it's actually going to show up uh, on the left side of the Melon Studio as a second camera source. And then I can add that to the stream as well. There we go. You can see it appearing here on the left side of the, of the Melon Studio. And if I want to add that to the stream, all I have to do is click it. And now it's been added to the stream. Now, of course, if I wanted to look a little bit uh, more professional, I can just uh, turn it into landscape mode like this. And if I want it to look even better, I'm actually going to put it on a little tripod like this. And then I can place that tripod, for example, here on my printer. So now I'm actually showing my um, video conferencing setup at the same time as I'm talking about my video conferencing setup. And because we now have two cameras on the stream, I can also use the controls here on the bottom left hand side of Melon to change the layout. So this, uh, the current layout shows a little bit of the background and the two cameras in full screen. This layout here uh, fills the screen with the video but crops out some of the uh, some of the material. And the other layouts here you can see that I can put the B camera as a little smaller version in the in the uh, bottom left hand side. And the other layouts available look like this. So pretty easy huh? A great way to add a second camera to your live stream. Hit like if you got value. So that's how you add a second camera in Melon. But what about OBS Studio? OBS Studio is the other live streaming platform that I'm familiar with. Well, there's two ways to add a second camera in OBS Studio. The first one is to install a special app on your phone that's going to convert it into a webcam and then you can connect to your system either via Wi-Fi or via a cable. But the problem with these apps is that all of the free ones, as far as what I understand, are bad. The only way to get this to work decently is to pay for an app. And remember, in this video, we're looking for a free solution. The other way to add a second camera in OBS is to do it via a video conferencing app. For example, Zoom. So I could log in with my desktop into Zoom and on the Zoom mobile app into the same meeting as well. Then I would hide the desktop video so that I only have the mobile app video left. And then I would try to bring that into OBS Studio. This I think works in theory, but I've actually never been able to make it work stably in OBS Studio. And that was actually the reason why I was looking for a different solution. 
As you saw with Melon, we can add a second camera to the live stream in a quick and dirty way. It's easy and it's free because it's built in into the system. But there are three caveats that I want to highlight in case you want to try this setup for yourself. Number one is the resolution. I can choose different resolutions from 360p all the way up to 1080p when I'm logged in into the mobile live streaming studio. But the only one that I was actually able to use was 360p because it's the only one that was smooth enough. The other resolutions, as you can see in this comparison, they are a little bit more jittery and that doesn't really look so good on the stream. I don't exactly know why this is. I do have a very fast Wi-Fi connection, but still I was only able to use up to 360p. Are you getting value from these tips? Hit the like button. Number two is that your screen may shut off after a while. This is after all just running a normal web browser on your phone and depending on your screen timeout settings that may shut down after 20 or 30 seconds. So it's important if you want to use this as a second camera that you keep the screen active or you just use it to show something really quickly like I was actually doing here. In just a moment, I'm going to jump over to caveat number three. But if you've been getting some value from this video, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I share communication tips that are going to help you engage better with your audience. And I post a new video every Thursday. So just hit that big red subscribe button. Caveat number three relates to the fact that you're logged in twice. At the moment on the stream, I have my main webcam on the left and I have my a secondary camera on the right and if I click go live now it's going to work there is no problem at all the problem arises if I'm logged in with the phone but it's actually not on the stream so if I click go live now it's not going to work the only thing that's going to end up on the stream is the green screen and the logo this is a weird kind of bug but I think it gets confused about am I actually adding myself on the stream or not and when I say that nothing is going to show on the stream, it also will not pick up my microphone. So the only thing that's going to result on the stream is actually if I were to remove, it looks like this, it is as if I had also removed myself from the stream. So what is the solution? Well, in my experience, it's better to start your stream like this when you don't have your phone logged into the studio at all. You can see that I have removed it from the left hand side. So start your stream like this, click go live and everything will be hunky dory. And only after you're actually live, do you log into the studio with your phone as well. Then it seems like Melon doesn't get so confused as to are you actually there or not. If you want to try live streaming with Melon, please use the link in the description below this video. With that link, you can also find out more about the features of the paid plan or just get started with the free version. The most recent stream that I did with Melon was about how to write better titles for your speeches and presentations. If you want to check out that stream, click or tap the screen right here. And I will walk you through five different things that an amazing speech title should do. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.